everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell before you leave so you don't miss out on anything new. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY, but before I get started on that, I wanted to share with you guys this awesome t-shirt that I got from threadtank.com. They sent me three shirts and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. They are a company based out of Los Angeles, California, and they sell shirts with different sayings on them. Their motto is stories you can wear, which I love that. And that is why I picked out this uh, t-shirt. It's the Love Dachshund t-shirt. And it just spoke to me because I have a dachshund and I love him so much. He is the best dog in the whole entire world. No offense to any other dogs. I love every dog out there, but I love my Mr. Dougals so much and I love to represent him. So when I saw this shirt, it definitely spoke to me. Um, I ordered all my shirts in a size large and they fit true to size. They are very comfortable and the material is very soft. Um, it's a very good quality. The second shirt I ordered was a V-neck t-shirt. It says done adulting today. I just love that saying because I mean, I'm an adult and sometimes I'm just done adulting for the day. <laughs> and the third shirt I got was a slouchy sweatshirt that says, be beautiful. And I just love that saying because it just reminds you that you are beautiful just as yourself. So um, like I said, all of these shirts are super soft and super comfortable to wear and very nice quality. If you guys are interested in checking out Thread Tank, their link is down below in my description box as well as the links for all three three of these shirts that I shared with you guys. And also as a special promotion, they are doing 10% off your whole entire order. You can use the code measure 10 for that. And I'll leave that down below in the description box as well. So, all right, now all that being said, let's get started on the DIY. All right, so for this DIY, I'm gonna be using actually four of these fences from Dollar Tree. I only show three here, but I'm using four of them. And I'm gonna be using them to make um, an arch window. And I am just going to cut the stakes off at the bottom and then also cut the little um, sides off where the pegs are inserted into and then the other side where the pegs are um, to connect connect the fences together. They're really easy to cut off. I just use scissors and um, just cut them. And then next what I'm gonna do is just cut the fence in half. So I have two pieces with two arches on each side. Then I'm gonna take one of the pieces and put it towards the bottom of one of the fences on the bottom side and then cut that piece in half. Then I'm going to turn both pieces over and I am going to hot glue the bottom of that fence onto the bottom of the top part of the fence. Um, and it actually stayed pretty well with just hot glue. You just wanna make sure that you don't go too heavy with the hot glue so it doesn't seep out um, onto the other side. And I just glued all four of the parts down to the back of that piece of arched fence. Next, I'm just going to take another one of those fences and again, cut the um, stakes off and these little side pieces off and then again, cut the fence in half. And all I'm gonna do is just repeat the same steps by cutting one of the parts of the fence in half and then hot gluing that bottom part to the bottom piece of the fence that I started. And I'm gonna do that with the last piece as well. So that way I will have four sections, three half pieces and then one full piece at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to make one more arched window frame with two more pieces of the fence. Then I'm gonna take my white linen chalk paints and I'm just going to give both of these two coats of white paint to cover up all the black. 
After I do that, I'm just going to take my trusty gel stain in walnut that I always use to distress everything. It's really handy. And I'm just going to put some on a foam piece of brush and I'm going to kind of go a little heavy on the outer part of the frame and then brush some on the inside to give it a distressed look. Now I wanted to hang a wreath onto the frames. So I had these two wire wreath forms that came from Dollar Tree. They're the smaller ones that come in a pack of two. I purchased these around Christmas time and never ended up using them. So I thought I'd go ahead and use them for this project. And I just took some moss and hot glued it to the wire part on the wreath. And then I trimmed it up. And then I took some twine and just hot glued a piece to the back of the wreath to start off and then I just wrapped the twine um, around the wreath and then hot glued the end um, to the back of the wreath and then I took another piece of twine and just cut that off to make a hanger and looped it around and then just tied it and then I just hung it from the window frames and I think it looks really pretty and um, looks very farmhouse so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and that is it I will see you guys next time take care bye bye